In this week in military history, we explore the deadliest night of Operation Gomorrah, the Allied bombing raids on Hamburg, Germany, during World War II. Hamburg was an industrial city in Germany that became a prime Allied target due to its shipyards, U-boat pens, the hamburg harburg area oil refineries, and its position as a producer of armaments. On a succession of nights from July 24th to August 3rd, 1943, Allied air forces engaged in Operation Gomorrah. The British raided the area at night and the Americans bombed it by day. The scale of this air attack would be unmatched anywhere in Europe until the bombing of Dresden at war's end. The Royal Air Force for the first time employed a new radar jamming device, codenamed Window, where aircraft dropped aluminum foil strips to confuse German radars. This diversionary tactic, where German radar operators mistook these strips for actual aircraft, allowed the bombers a clear run to the target. July 27th was the deadliest night of the raids. Using the window method, over 780 Royal Air Force planes attacked. The unusually warm, dry weather accompanied by the bombing created an actual firestorm, and winds of over 150 miles per hour and temperatures of over 1,000 degrees tore through the city. Eight square miles were incinerated and those who were seeking safety in shelters were not spared as the fire consumed all the oxygen in its path. In the end, between 34 and 43,000 people were dead and more than 125,000 were injured. German morale plummeted as many high-ranking officials grew concerned that this event may have marked the beginning of the German defeat. Join us next time for another segment of This Week in Military History with the Pritzker Military Museum and Library.